Hello, caller, you're on the air. Uh, yes, Patty, I'm a first-time caller, so please bear with me. Yeah, I appreciate your call today, so you go right okay. ahead. Now, this, I know you've got MOSFETs coming out of your ears, but Guaranteed. this is on the same subject. Okay. In 1982, I own a company. In 1982, we put a service line out to the MOSFET fault, uh, which proposed uh, site there now. Mm-hmm. And there was a caller on this morning talking about the deep, or the... Um, Springs, under underground springs, sir. Uh-huh. So the purpose for our line going out there was to power uh, deep wells to uh, lower the water table on that site where this proposed th- uh, project would go. So uh, he was right on that one. Yeah. So okay. I, over the years, I've since 1970, I've built just about all the power stations in Newfoundland and Labrador and build numerous lines. But that don't make me an expert on the feasibility of Mossred Falls. But I like to state here categorically and passionately that I'm, a, I'm totally against the project. The cost is too great for 800 megawatts of power. That's not worth it. And we don't have customer. That's been stated before. And Jim uh, came on there. He said he was a long-time Tory. I've been a long-time Tory, too, and I don't think that the present administration have a mandate to proceed with such a gigantic project. Do you think we need any new power generation, sir? Now, that's one of the first questions. Do we need the power? Yep. Now, what you should, should say, do we need the power now? And the question is, when? Yeah, that's right. I know, this, I know now there's water spilling over the dams and there's hydro being not being used. Mm-hmm. So this is the question that PUB was asking, the current status of our consumption. And I don't think it's been addressed properly yet. If, we, if someone could say, here's, here's the power being used, and what's our peak demand in the peak period, which is November, December, if they could tell us that, then we'd know if we need the power now. And the other part of that same question, do we need the power with or without Hollywood? Fair enough. You know what I mean? Yes, so, I do. But what? What? I've been in this business a long time, and I know technically uh, the characteristics of the steam plant in Holyrood. It's such that if you were to start from a cold start, take that plant up, up to temperature, up to pressure, and on the line, you're talking many hours, even days, before that could happen. So, therefore... When you go past the stack and see smoke's coming out, that, that's not indicative of power being generated. That's what's known as a spinning reserve mode. Mm-hmm. So we got to have that, otherwise not at all. That's right. Really, it's not, it's not ideal at all for peaking or for emergency situations. That's been proven like, pretty well. But the gas turbine is the answer to go. Gas turbine, there's already one in existence in Stephenville, 50 megawatts. There's one in the... Uh, Hardwood substation there near St. John's. Right. They're each, they're each 50, 50 megawatts each. That's 100 megawatts right there. So if you had a series of those across the island, and there come by chance near the oil refinery where they've got an ample supply of gas, I imagine, the, uh, our uh, peaking would be taken care of and emergency situations would be taken care of because they could be strategically located to t- where the heaviest load is and where the system is most vulnerable. And they, they, for as far as starting characteristics is concerned, you get aboard your planes. The same identical motor that's on your airplane. You see motor strapped underneath the wings there. Mm-hmm. You sit in your seat, you're strapped in. And only a matter of minutes, the motors come up to speed in your way. Well, the same thing could happen with this, with those situations. They, generators, the same thing. So your background is with uh, hydro or Newfoundland power or something similar, is it? Sounds I, like it. I, I, gas turbines, I would take would take care of peaking and emergency situations. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. And forget MOSFET, because that's too expensive. I've been passionately opposed to that ever since day one. And for 800 megawatts of power, it's not worth the money. And our customers, is going to be you and I. The meter spinning outside your house is going to have to pay for it. This guy came on earlier, they are talking about uh, Gull Island coming to the island. He didn't know very much of what he was saying, really, because this cable now coming across the street can carry 800 megawatts of power. So if, that, if we were to take the energy from Gull Island and bring it here, there's not enough money printed to 
pay for that installation? Well, I, I couldn't make it to, I didn't make much headway with that particular I caller. I tried. Um, yeah, I know. But, uh, sir, I appreciate your call as a first-time caller. It's a shame that you have uh, taken this long to join us on the program. I hope you do it again. Well, I wrote several letters to the newspaper, but I, I'm getting more involved. And if the, when this demonstration is in St. John, I'll be driving in from Springdale to attend the wonderful demonstrations. That's how passionately I feel about this. Well, then, when you travel to St. John's this weekend, uh, do it safely. And I'm looking forward to your review and others next week as to how this uh, particular uh, rally went and why you think it's going to happen on the heels of it. Good, good talking to you today. I've been, I've been, I've been retired for 20 years, and I only got a few years anyway left. But uh, people come behind. I'm very concerned. Uh, terrific call, sir. I'm glad you did it. Let's talk again soon. Thank you, Patty. All the best. Bye. Bye. -bye.